Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So recently I finally purchased some Makeup Geek eyeshadows. So today I just sat down to play with them. I really had no idea what I was doing or where I was going with them. But um, we're just kind of going with the flow, you know? So the first thing we're doing as always is priming our eyes. And I am using the MAC Paint Pot in the color Painterly. This is going to cover any purpleness that you have and it's going to give you a nice clean base to start with. And now you want to set that primer so that everything is easier to blend and for that I'm using the Makeup Peak eyeshadow in the color Beaches and Cream. Now I'm going in with the color Peach Moody and I'm applying that all over my crease as a transition shade. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, what a transition shade does is if you have a dark brown and a light cream, you're going to want a medium brown to connect the two colors. A color like this is also going to help you create some definition in your crease, which is why I always start with a transition shade when I'm doing my makeup. And when you're doing this step, just keep blending until you have a very light wash of the color that you are using. And now I'm taking a brush that's a little bit more dense than the one I was using and I'm taking the color Frappe and I'm applying that on my crease but keeping it lower than the color Peach Moody. And as you can see I am trying to keep those colors just on my crease, not taking them too much into my inner corner. I want them to stay nice and light. And with a clean fluffy brush, I'm just making sure I blend all the edges. You always want to keep a clean brush around. If you use the same one that you've been using, you're just going to drag all that color to areas that you really don't want it to go. And that's how you end up looking muddy and it just doesn't look good. And now I'm taking a bit more peach smoothie and putting it higher on the crease because I felt like I needed just a bit more color up there. Now I'm taking the color Cocoa Bear and I'm applying that on the outer corner of my eye. I will be dragging that a little bit into the crease but not much. I just want to concentrate that color mostly on my outer corner. And I don't know if you noticed but I am taking a smaller brush now. The darker you go with your colors, the smaller you want your brush to be. And that's what's going to help you create that gradient effect and make your shadow seem nice and blended. So you know what I said about keeping that cocoa bear in my outer corner? Just kidding, I actually want it all over my lid. Like I mentioned at the beginning, I really didn't know what I was doing. I was just kind of going with the flow and just experimenting with colors and just playing around with my new eyeshadows. And I just took a flat shader brush because I wanted to intensify that cocoa bear. And when you're trying to build up a color, a brush like this is what's going to help you achieve that. Once again, I'm taking my clean fluffy brush and just making sure I have no rough edges. And then I'm also taking that frappe color and adding more to my crease. And after all that blending, I felt like I was losing that cocoa bear, so I just went back and added more. And before you start applying any makeup on your face, it is very important that you wipe off any fallout. And 
and now I'm taking my MAC Paint Pot and with a liner brush I'm applying that on my lower lash line so that when I apply eyeshadow it is more intense and it lasts all day. And I'm just taking the color Charmed which is a beautiful silvery kind of olive green, it's gorgeous and I'm just applying that on my lower lash line. Now I'm just applying a black eyeliner on my waterline and this is the Marc Jacobs Beauty Highliner. Now we're gonna start with the face and I'm still very much into my Nivea Men aftershave balm that everyone is using. I think it's very hydrating but yet it doesn't feel oily and it doesn't make me greasy at all. And now we're gonna do some color correcting and for that I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour and this is in Warm Coral. This is gonna help me cover that darkness that I have around my mouth. This is hormonal, it's completely normal but it's not cute. And if you have any darkness around your mouth or anywhere in your skin, you can use any concealer that's kind of an orange or salmon color that's going to help you cover that darkness. And because I'll be using multiple products on my face, I chose to use a wet beauty blender that's going to help me blend everything much better and it's going to prevent my face from looking like I have too much going on. And because I'm using so many products on my face, I chose to use a foundation that was liquid and that wasn't too thick. And this Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation is amazing. It is so nice. It makes you seriously look flawless. The only problem I have with it is that it actually makes me look really oily in a few hours. So I only use this when I know I won't be wearing it for too long and I make sure I set it with a good powder. And I'm still using my Beauty Blender for my foundation. This is not only going to help you blend everything, but it's also going to help you absorb any extra makeup that you have on your face so that you don't end up looking cakey. Now we're going to do some highlighting and for that I'm using my Tarte Barracuda Creaseless Concealer and I will be applying that on my under eye, on my nose, on my chin, my upper lip and also my forehead. And if you don't know anything about highlighting, you basically just want to apply a light concealer on the parts of your face that you want to bring forward. Now I'm just blending that concealer with my Beauty Blender and taking that concealer up to the side of your eyes is going to give your face a lifted appearance.
Now I'm setting my under eye concealer with my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And this powder is true to its name, it really does brighten the area that you use it on, it is amazing. The way that I like to use this powder is by packing it on, I like to put a lot of it at the beginning and then very lightly I dust it off and that leaves a very bright finish. And then I set my entire face with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And now I'm doing some very light contouring and for that I'm using my new Makeup Geek Contour Powder and this is the one called Love Triangle and this is the lightest color from the four on the one side. I don't really do that much contouring to my nose, but I just take the same brush that I've been using to bronze my face and without putting any extra product on it, I just go on the sides of my nose. And as I mentioned in my foundation routine video, at the end I just like to take my powder brush and with no extra product on it, I just go over my entire face just to make sure that everything looks blended. I was going for a very nude look which is why I'm applying this blush and this is Bliss from Makeup Geek also and this is a very very light peachy shade. I forgot to mention that I did do my brows and also applied my false lashes off camera and now I'm just applying my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. And now I'm just applying some more of that charm eye shadow because I felt like I was losing the intensity that I wanted. To bring some light into my inner corners, I'm just applying some of that beaches and cream shade that we used in the beginning. And now I'm just applying my perfect nude, which is my Mag Velvet Teddy. I thought the nude lip was just not for me until I found this lipstick. So if you are someone who thinks, that nude just doesn't look good on them, you may like this too. And because I wanted more of a glossy look on my lips, I did go over with my Victoria's Secret gloss in the color Peekaboo and I have been obsessed with this since like Thanksgiving I think. This is amazing, it is super smooth, it's not sticky at all and I feel like I need to say that I do not like the other ones that they have in the little tubes. I don't like that at all and this gloss is nothing like that. And just to finish off this look, I'm just applying some mascara on my bottom lashes. And that is the end of this look. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. I am uploading three times a week as of right now. So if you have any suggestions, you can message me. I am on Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, and Instagram. Thank you again so much.